Hello, thank you for joining me. Yes, this is Auto Decay. You probably thought we put this thing away, but no, alas, it is back. And, you know, to give AutoCAD some credit, it is a very good uh, drawing program. And if you all you want to do is draw lines, arcs, and fill things, in, fill things in with hatches and other things, AutoCAD is still a very good program to do. They're probably easier to use in Revit Architecture. So i like to show you some techniques in regard to putting your logo together. So I've just opened up regular old AutoCAD. And the first thing I want to do is go create a new level. So right now all we have is level level zero. There's nothing else. So let's go ahead and create a new one. Let's go to our layer of properties. Open that guy up and open up a new uh, layer. And this is what we're going to call image. And color, let's just make it a little bit different from some of the other colors. Use our standard colors. Maybe green would be fine. Or let's actually just use red will be okay. At least for me, that, that that'll work. And what I want to do is I want to make sure that I um, I'm going to do the green shark mark and choose that as my uh, as a layer that I want to draw on when I get back to AutoCAD. But uh, what I'm desiring to do here is import an image into AutoCAD, and I'm going to draw right on top of it. So let's go to X, close that out. Now we have two layers. Image is chosen here. So let's go ahead and uh, go to the Insert tab and go to Attach. This allows us to attach an XRF or an image or some other similar file into AutoCAD. And I'm going to choose the file that I was looking at, my logo. And uh, in regard to all the settings here, let's just choose the default settings and go to OK. It allows us to drop it on the screen and it's going to be in that red uh, rectangle. And I could scale it up or down from here, but if I just do enter right now, it just puts it in at the regular size, which I think is uh, 6 or 8 or 9 inches. But uh, we can check that. Let's go ahead and do a line and draw a line across. And it looks like it's about 13 inches across, maybe 6 inches tall. So that works out okay. When we insert this into Revit Architecture, we're going to scale this down in order to make it fit uh, the space that's allocated for it on the title block. Okay. Let's draw. Let's not draw in the image layer, but let's draw in the zero layer. And just for the fun of it, let's go up here and change the, the color of it. We're going to change it to magenta. I think magenta will uh, look uh, a little bit better. It'll actually stand out a little bit better. If I'm drawing a white line and a white background, it's impossible to see. And this is, uh, you don't have to be very, uh, you know, if you have something sketched out, you want to take a picture of it, scan it, and put it in the background and follow this technique, you're welcome to do it that way. But it doesn't really have to be precise. If you just want to draw right on top of this thing, you don't have to worry about offsets of specific distances and um, <coughs> you know, dimensions of certain sizes. You don't have to worry about that. So, let's just draw a line straight across. Oops, kind of got away from me there. That's my magenta line. You can just barely see it. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to copy it from that point to that point. Go to my three-point arc. Remember, it's a start, middle, end arc. So I'm going to start there, somewhere in the middle here, and I'm going to end it down here. Go to the offset command. We're going to set our offset disc distance. If you look at the task bar, it's, uh, you're, you can see what it's asking for. So if I click on this line and that line, it gives us the distance that we're going to offset. It gives me a little pick box. I'm going to click on this arc. Click to the inside. Now if I click on all these lines, you can see that I have now uh, you know, one, two, two lines and two arcs. And I'm going to go ahead and complete it on this side by drawing some additional lines from the ends of the arcs down here. Escape, spacebar, draw this one down here, kind of pick up that uh, relationship over there. So now I have one quarter of it drawn. Oops. It looks like it's still in place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my image off. It's going to reveal a portion of my logo in the background and then I'm going to mirror it to the other side and uh, kind of complete this. So let's go up to our layer manager. Let's go to the light bulb up here for image. Turn that off. It makes it a lot easier to draw and uh, make manipulations here now that we got that image out of the background. So let's do this. Let's take this. We're going to uh, mirror that to the bottom. Remember how we mirror it. Enter. We're going to keep both of them. Now we're going to take this side and mirror it to the other side. So there is the middle of it. If we want to do some hatching, we can do that at, at, at this point. And just for our own convenience, we made everything magenta in color, but we're going to eventually turn everything to white. So we import our image into Revit Architecture, 
You can do colors if you like, but when we import, Im uh, when we import images into Revit Architecture, we like to have it black or white. So we're going to make everything here white. So I think that's enough for this video. We'll go ahead and complete this in the next video.